hey babes welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing y'all how i made this fat ass hoodie into something spectacular okay bear with me because my instructions usually suck okay but i'm putting these pants that fit me properly over top of the sweatpants and i'm just measuring out because i'm gonna have to take these sweatpants in the easier way to do it is from the outside of the pants but i don't want to ruin the pink logo so i'm doing it from the inside i measured about two and a half inches that's how much i'm gonna have to take off of these in order for them to fit me properly so i'm just marking that and then I'm just gonna take this pencil and I'm just gonna mark and line everywhere I'm going to sew. I ended up getting lazy and using pins, but I'm sewing on the outside of the pants, not the inside, because if anything, I want them to fit bigger, not too small. Now, once they fit perfectly, you have to try them on and make sure they fit you and they're just to your liking before you take the scissors and cut them. Because once you cut them, you're stuck with them okay once the fabric is gone there's no bringing it back so make sure you try it on that's why i sew from the outside of the pins rather than the inside because i would rather it be too big than be too small because once it's too small you can't really go back but if it's too big you can kind of re-sew it would be time consuming but you can still re-sew it so I'm cutting off the extra fabric that I don't need. And once I have that off, I'm actually gonna take in the waist as well. This does have elastic inside of it already that you can't remove because that's just how they made the pants. But the elastic is worn out, y'all. These were my fat girl pants, so they don't fit me anymore. I'm gonna be threading some new elastic in and I did measure it around my waist to make sure that it fit me. And I'm just threading it through. And this process can be a little bit time consuming. It probably takes like, five minutes to thread it through like it can be really stubborn especially because i'm going over elastic already that are in the pants so yeah i hope i'm making sense and i'm not going too fast for you guys um yeah <laughs> once you finally get the um elastic through which it can be very stubborn you want to sew it down because if you don't sew it down the elastic you will lose it through the pants eventually over time now i'm cutting out the lining for my laces i'm just cutting a big hole at first i was being really cautious and i was trying to like draw where i wanted to cut it at but that wasn't working out and i was just like fuck it like we're just gonna do it and see how it turns out like i got tired of struggling with it so i'm just cutting like literally y'all probably don't want to do this <laughs> but just cut it like fuck it um i'm using a pen and i'm poking my holes through the pants using a pen because i didn't have any other tools um it was pretty easy i think the hardest thing about poking the holes through was getting them to line up with each other because if they don't line up y'all the threading and your well your laces are just gonna look stupid if you don't get it to line up and i have a few laces that look crazy because my holes wasn't lined up so make sure you're focused on that i kind of was speeding through this is what it should look like after you lace it up y'all now we're going to move on to the shirt and that's just me looking in the camera making sure that it's recording i look stupid i know i'm going to be marking where i want to take this hoodie in because it's way too baggy i'm using that um hoodie i made in my last video as a stencil and i'm just pinning this up and i'm basically doing the same thing i did to the bottoms to the top um i'm going to sew this down and once it's sewn down i'm going to cut it out cut the extra fabric off that is not needed anymore and I'm doing the same thing that I did to the hoodie in my last video, if you guys watched it. I'm taking an elastic band and I'm gonna add it to the waist to have like a cinched waist on my hoodie. And if you guys haven't watched that video, go ahead and check that out because I won't be showing you guys how I did it in this tutorial. I want this video to be quick and to the point. So this is how it should look at this point. Now all I'm doing is adding in the drawstrings because i lost the drawstrings to this hoodie i actually want to do it a little differently so i'm cutting extra holes out in the hoodie because i want to lace it up like my pants are um you guys probably can't really visualize what i'm talking about so you'll just see it in the next clip 
but I'm just cutting extra holes out and I'm gonna lace the hoodie just like I laced my um pants and y'all this is actually my second time ever using my sewing machine blah, 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 my sewing machine so if you guys feel like you can't sew or you can't do this tutorial because you don't know how to sew it's easier than you think like this is literally my second time using it but this is what it should look like after lacing it up and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't don't put no thumbs down on my video because that's real funky <laughs> but i'm gonna see y'all on my next video thanks for watching bye